Hey, this is Thomas from the podcast, my personal Tom Waterworth YouTube page. And this is something that's been missing this winter, and it's happening right now. It's snowing! Wow. Yeah. It's a train that's going off the distance there. Yeah, this is... It's you know, like the second, only like the second major snowstorm we've really had this, this whole winter. And they're planning that it would be about good two to four inches to just paying all together. You can see better in the light than the dark. The whole drive home was just really all slushy. It kind of amazes me on the fact that some cars will just like, just zip on past you, especially the trucks. If you pull that cargo, you'd be careful at least, but... Well, like down the street here, past the front of my house. My guardian lions, they've been through this before. I can handle the snow, no problem. There's a snow plug going down the street behind me. So it looks like they're getting ready. You can see the snow's pretty darn good coming down. Here's just a simple walk here. I don't want to pour you too badly. You know, even a little peaceful town of Castleton. I mean, like this. Uh, there's another tail. There's somebody's power went out. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of times you can think, well, it's probably weird doing it now, but. It's kind of interesting to look back on this, you know, when it gets to summer and all that, and it watches the snow is falling. Oh, there went snow plow over there. <laughs> Keep on missing it. The snow's a little deep there. Yeah, we'll pass the church there. Yeah, it's just, it, it can be beautiful, although, you know, most of our winters, it can be tiresome after a while, because <laughs> you, you get so many of them, and it's like one snowstorm after another, it piles up, and then you're like, oh god, now I gotta, now I gotta do the driveway again, but it's like, like, now it's like this year for most of us here in North Dakota, it's like, what? Still? Really, I thought we were going to get out of it this time. I guess that groundhog was right. Which is odd because my cat Marty has been shedding a great deal. Which usually that's a sign that's, you know, at least for the cat's sake, that they think that spring's coming.
sidewalk and the side of the streets. I'm kind of trying to be careful a little bit. The only one drawback in Castleton is that some some streets have sidewalks and some don't. So it's been sometimes it's tricky to navigate. But yeah, it's one day after another, and you know, before you know it, we'll be celebrating old Star Up. We got a couple of things planned. I know we're gonna. I get one little ritual going like we did with Impulk. And before you know it, we'll, we'll have a Beltane and hopefully we'll be doing that in the backyard because that has, hasn't had one in about three years. We've danced the maple in my backyard about a good three times. Each of them been just as joyous, especially the one in 2008 where we did Brenna's Wickening, which is, you know, basically like a pagan baptizing in a sense. You see my house on the right we're coming up towards. trying to stream video games and try to hopefully raise money for the projects we do and especially Pagan Pride Day that we're doing our second annual one in August. Always, always more welcome to donate. It's greatly appreciated. So as we come back to my house, I'll close it up right there. Subscribe, you know, send comments, what you think about. Be a little bit to our next episode, but always keep in touch and well, as I see Miss Willow Tree there, I'll sign off for now. Blessed be.